They say love is a verb. We advocate for unity through demonstrations of love. Alana Simmons believes that more than most. She learned it from her grandfather, the late Reverend Daniel Simmons, Sr. Uh, my grandfather was one who preached love. He was one who lived love. It was what he was doing the night a gunman shot and killed him and eight others at their church in Charleston, South Carolina. Days later, Alana confronted the killer in court. I said to him that although my grandfather died at the hands of hate, he lived in love, he preached love, and his legacy will be love, so hate won't win. Those words, hate won't win, turned into a movement and a challenge. Alana asks people to demonstrate acts of love to someone different from themselves, then post about it on social media using the hashtag hate won't win. Love in action to uproot hate. I use the analogy that racism is uh, like a bad weed and you can't just, you know, plant pretty flowers over it. You have to weed it out. On this day, Alana's love in action is this wreath honoring the three men stabbed on a Max train last spring. Alana believes they shared something in common with her grandfather. They all stood up to hate. And it's important that we honor victims of hate crimes and continue on their legacies and love so that their death isn't in vain. Tomorrow morning, Alana will be the keynote speaker at the Good Friday Breakfast, sponsored by the YMCA at the Convention Center. There are still tickets available if you want to check out her very inspiring message. Joan Laurel, back to you. I'm sure that'll be well attended. Catherine, thank you very much.